Gentrification threats are pushing forward as a plan to improve home ownership on the city's near northwest side. The Flanner House is taking a page from its own history to get the job done. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us now with that story. Katira. Well, Sierra, the Flanner House is rolling out its home ownership program. The idea grew out of fears around gentrification and ways to stabilize the community. The home ownership program is a partnership between the Flanner House and Lakeside Bank. Flanner House representatives say historically access to home loans have been hard for black people, and in some cases, that's still true today. Lakeside, recognizing that, stepped up to provide support. Here's how the program works. Flanner House uses its funds to buy and renovate abandoned and blighted homes, eventually allowing homeowner hopefuls to apply for the home loans to buy them under the appraised value. What does a program for home ownership look like uh, for people in this neighborhood um, who may already be credit ready and credit qualified, um, but because they're the children and the grandchildren of people who were redlined? and have a very serious mistrust of financial institutions. And Cosby says this is a great first step, but the organization is looking for more businesses and more people to feed into its fund, ultimately allowing them to buy more properties outright, creating space for more construction and renovation at a time. Now, the first home is done with construction, and the Flanner House will hold a ribbon cutting Wednesday. Two other homes are still under construction. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.